Jenny McKenzie again. Um, welcome to my yoga studio. What I have for you today is a another vinyasa yoga that concentrates on building up the strength of the upper body, the triceps, and the arms. Um, what a lot of people don't know, what I certainly didn't know when I first started, is that yoga requires a lot of arm strength. And it's not something we always realize, because a lot of times the focus is the legs, the lunges, the squats, the glutes, the hamstrings, things like that. But yoga requires a lot of arm strength to do well. So I decided to put together this flow to help increase um, that upper body strength, to help you do a lot of the cooler poses, like headstands, handstands, arm bars, crow pose, stuff like that. So as usual, we're going to start at the top of our mat, because it is a vinyasa yoga. So let's practice our good posture. Let's engage the core. Let's roll the shoulders back. Let's take a few deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. You're breathing in from your diaphragm and you're keeping that core engaged the whole time. And really blowing that air out. Don't make yourself lightheaded, but really get those good breaths. Now let's circle the arms. And coordinate with the breath. Hopefully you remember to wear deodorant. Okay, let's bring the arms to the floor. Exhale. Inhale, come up to flat back, press off the knees. Exhale, reverse swan dive, come up. Exhale, reverse swan dive, go down. Touch the toes. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, reverse swan dive, inhale. Exhale, swan dive, come to the toes. Come up to the top of the knees, push out for that flat back. Come back to the bottom of that. Circle your hands up. Come up. One more time. You really just want to warm up the body. Inhale, flat back. Exhale. Come to the top. Really make sure you're stretching out those shoulders when you when you do those arm circles. Take advantage of the arm circles. Come down. Come to flat back. This time, take your hands to the mat, and I want you to step back into plank, and I want you to do a chaturanga, which is you're gonna. Um, you're going to do a tricep push-up. Keep those elbows into your rib cage. Come up onto the toes. Exhale into down dog. So I want you to play around a bit here. Make sure you get good and stretched out. Pedal the feet a little bit. Yoga is a good full body. You just want to make sure you're warm before you start this. Push those ears in between your shoulders to create that picture frame. Now I just want you to sort of roll forward onto your toes so you're putting your weight into bringing your shoulders forward. This is going to increase your shoulder mobility as well as strengthen the upper back and the shoulder. So we're just going to gently roll. Keep rolling. We're going to do this a number of times. Make sure when you roll, you're rolling with your whole body. You're starting from your toes. You're rolling up your legs into your booty, sucking in at the core and pushing those shoulders over your hands. All right. Two more times. All right, you should really feel that warm up in your shoulders. We're going to do another chaturanga. If you can't, come to the tops of your knees and do the tricep push-up. Come up into cobra before you push back into down dog. That was a modification for chaturanga up dog to down dog. All right, I want you to come into child's pose. Give those shoulders a rest. If you need to increase that um, wrist flexibility and mobility, I want you to turn your hands up. So your palms face the sky, really stretch out those shoulders and those wrists. Come here for a few deep breaths. All right, I want you to come up into child's pose, stretch those shoulders back, and I want you to roll forward onto the tops of your knees, and I want you to do a tricep push-up. Come back into child's pose. Quickly come back into a tricep push-up, on your knees, back into child's pose. When you're rolling up onto your knees, make sure you're rolling to the tops of your knees so you don't hurt, you don't, you don't hurt your knees. And it makes it a lot easier. Make sure your elbows are staying tucked into your sides. They're scrape, they're literally scraping my rib cage um, as I do these tricep push-ups. Alright, one more, and make sure you're keeping your back as far or as diagonal as you can. Tricep push-up, that was our last one. I want you to come back, rest into child's pose for three breaths. Still in through your nose, out through your mouth. Give those triceps a rest. You should start to feel them burn. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to come forward and we're going to pulse it out. So I want you to come down, pulse, two, three, roll back. 
Come back. Pulse. Two, three. Roll back. And if you if you're feeling um, weak or you need to give your triceps a rest, go ahead and, st and rest in child's pose. We're doing a total of five of these pulses, the tricep pulses. Roll back. One, two, three, and roll back. I know I'm feeling it in my triceps. You I hope you are too. Let's stay here for two breaths. All right, I want you to come into plank now. Push up into down dog. Walk the feet into the hands. I want to circulate some more air, so come up. Reverse swan dive. Inhale, exhale, swan dive, come to your feet. Inhale, come to the tops of the knees, flat back. Exhale, reverse swan dive. Inhale, exhale, swan dive. Flat back, reverse swan dive. I just want, I want to circulate more air, circulate more oxygen in that blood to make sure we're good and ready. All right, bring your hands to the mat, walk into plank. Push up into down dog. We're not going to do the whole vinyasa since we're really working the triceps. All right, rest in down dog. Find a good down dog for you. You'll notice I'm constantly adjusting my body to find what feels good and comfortable for me. Because now we're going to do the down dog tricep push-ups. It's going to get real. So make sure you're really comfortable. Push your weight back into the heels. Take a few deep breaths. Find, get comfortable in that down dog. When you're ready, come forward. Tricep push-up that weight back into the heels. Come forward onto the toes, tricep push up, push back, weight into the heels. We're only gonna do five of these, so this is your third. Make sure you're keeping your back as flat as you can and your elbows tucked as far into your rib cage as you can. All right, come up. See, it's, 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 it should get a lot more difficult um, as your triceps start to tire. That was your last one. All right, down dog, come into child's pose. Shake it out a little bit, just kind of see how I'm putting my elbows on the mat to give my triceps a rest. And I'm gonna rotate palm up um, to give my wrists a break and to rest my triceps a little bit more. Take a few deep breaths, because now come the pull. We're gonna do the down dog tricep push-up pulses. I really wanna burn those triceps out, because that's when you're really gonna start to build that lean muscle and you're gonna start to notice a difference um, in what you're able to do. And we're not gonna do this routine every day. This is just to strengthen your arms. I encourage you to follow one of the yoga plans um, so you know when to do which yoga each day. And for that information, you can check my YouTube or my Facebook page. All right, enough of that. Or you can contact me directly. So bend down, find that good downward dog position. Push the ears back into the shoulders, create that picture frame. Roll back up, pulse it out. One, two, three. Push back into down dog. Find that good down dog. Roll up, weight over the wrists. Pulse it out. One, two, three. Your elbows are tight into your rib cage. Roll back, push the weight into the heels. Come forward, pulse it out for three. One, two, three. Whew, it's tough. Roll back, put the weight into those heels. Come to your knees. Take another child's pose. This, not, not for as long, just for a few breaths, all right? Come onto those hands. Push up into down dog. Walk the feet into the hands. I want to circulate more air again, get more oxygen in the blood. So reverse one, I come up. So I come down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, bring those feet back. Try to do another chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. And now I want you to come back into plank. I want you to widen your grip because we're going to work the upper back and shoulders now with a wide grip push-up. Um, so we're going to do five on each side. I'll show you the first one. You're going to do a push-up, come up, press, take the leg, that left leg to the outside, and we're going to open up, twist our, and walk your hands in. So push-up, I'll show you on the other side. Walk the hand in, the inside leg out, open up to a star. And we're going to do five on each side. When you do a push-up, focus on looking out because um, it's going to help you get that 90 degree angle when you bend down, the whole chest to floor thing. All right, so we're going to begin with a push-up. 
Walk that left hand in, your left foot out, open up to a star. Come back, push up, right hand in, star. Push up. Try to keep that back as diagonal as you can. Try to go as low as you can in that push up. Again, it helps if you look out in front of you and keep that grip wide so that you're really working the upper back. This is three. Four, you're doing great. Again, so walk that hand in, the outside foot in, and also for outside foot out. Push up. Hand in, foot out, come up. And we're gonna end in a push up. Great job. Take it back into a child's pose. Really rest those shoulders. Put your elbows on the mat and rest the shoulders. Because you just, you really work those shoulders a lot. Both in the star and in the push up. So they should feel really fatigued. All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to roll into a tabletop. We're gonna grab that weight and work those triceps a little more. So put it handy, you just need one. I have a three pound here because we're really, um, you, don't, you, you don't need much weight here. So I want you to come into a tabletop, your shoulders over your wrists and your um, hips over your knees. I want you to push off the tops of the feet, come up onto the toes, grab that weight. We're gonna burn out the tricep with the tricep kickback. I'm not gonna count so you don't know how many you have to do or how many that are left, but take that elbow past your back and really work the tricep. Just keep kicking back, kicking back. Again, we're doing a lot of small pulses so you don't need a lot of weight to burn out those triceps. You're done, lower the weight. Quickly switch to the other side, come down to the table while you do that, while you need to. This is also working your shoulders and your core because you're lifting your whole body. You'll see our knees. My knees are not on the mat. So you're working your core, your shoulders, and again, we're burning out that tricep. Elbows past your back, so you really know you're getting the tricep. You push, push, push. Last three, two, one, and down. Come to the table, stretch it back into child's pose. Beautiful job. Really stretch out those shoulders. Bring your elbows up, stretch out the triceps. Press your hands up to the sky. Now we're gonna come up, plank, find plank, roll back into down dog, drop the knees, reach back into child's pose. Take a few rests here, turn your palms up because we're putting a lot of weight onto those wrists for an extended period of time. Just to make sure you're giving those wrists a break, increasing that wrist flexibility and mobility. All right, roll up into plank, push up into down dog, walk the feet into the hands, come in, in inhale into flat back, exhale, reverse swan dive, inhale, halfway up, exhale, come down, inhale, put your feet, your hands on your knees, exhale, exhale, inhale, come down to the mat, into plank, we're gonna stay in plank, and we're gonna do plank sphinxes. So what you're gonna do, is you're just gonna come on your elbows for sphinx and then up onto your hands for plank. And if you need to, you can walk the elbows down and walk the hands up. But if you can, I encourage you to try to drop both at the same time and then raise both at the same time. So we're gonna do seven of those. So one, two, three, four, and again, if you need to, so that'll be five, six, seven. You're still really increasing that shoulder strength and shoulder mobility. All right, push up into down dog, drop the knees, come into child's pose. I'm giving you a lot of breaks here because I really, what I want to focus on is burning out those arms. And I'm, do, I'm putting a lot of the vinyasa flow in there to keep your heart rate going, although it, it should be going. Speaking of, come to the top of your mat, push up into down dog, Walk the feet into the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, come around. Exhale, flat back. Reverse, one time, come up. Exhale, come down. 
feet to the hands, back to the mat. And now you're gonna think I'm crazy, but we're actually gonna grab a weight. Okay, in one minute, Lils, okay? We're gonna grab a three pound weight and we're gonna do some exercises in plank to really increase that shoulder strength and mobility and that arm strength. So I want you to do this, come into plank, grab one weight, I have it in my right hand, and we're just gonna do an arm raise to rotation. I want you to raise it straight out in front of you and rotate up, that's two, three, and notice how my weight is not touching the floor. It's just coming out. All right, quickly switch hands, right arm raise to rotation. And this is working your core a little bit too. Straight out in front of you, rotate and raise it up. Bring that weight in front of you, rotate and raise it up. Second to last one, you're almost done. Raise it up, raise to rotation. Set that weight down, come into plank, push back in the down dog, drop the knees, child's pose. This time I want you to bring your elbows all the way back. Really give your, really, you should really, your shoulders and your triceps and even a little bit your biceps should be burning. I know mine are. It's not a super long um, flow, but it is very effective. You'll be doing on bars and handstands in no time. All right. Really stretch out those shoulders. Give yourself a minute here to recover. Press your forehead to the mat if you need to. Rotate those palms to the sky. Let your shoulders relax on the mat. We're gonna do one last thing to burn out the triceps. And if you're not quite ready for it, just watch your first few times and just practice. Um, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna come up into crow. So come into a plank. Down dog, walk the feet into the hands. Bring your um, hands to your knees, flat back. Exhale, come up. Exhale again. Hands to your knees. Rotate. I actually want you to bring your hands to prayer because I want to talk you, I want you to focus on what you're gonna do. We're gonna do another um, sun salutation and mountain pose. And the second time through, you're gonna bring your hands to the mat. Here, I'm gonna scoot back so you can see me better. Um, and you're gonna sort of squat in a frog position. And I want you to slowly bring your knees to your elbows and raise your toes so that you're staying on the curves. That's gonna make a little more sense. So let's just, I just want you to give a little bit of, I wanted to give you a little bit of a break. Um, so you can do what you need to do, shake out those triceps, because I really wanna burn out those arms in this last move. So, so hands in prayer. So, Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We're still inhaling and exhaling from our diaphragm, so you're contracting that whole core. So circle the arms. Exhale, bring your hands to your toes. Inhale, come up to flat back, exhale. Reverse swan dive, swan dive from down. Inhale, bring your hands to your knees. Exhale, bring your hands to the mat while at the same time bringing your knees to your elbows. Set yourself up. Give yourself a wide base of support for crow. If you're really good at it, you can do the diamonds, but give yourself a wide base of support. Find, um, get, find your balance, and when you're ready, roll those knees up onto those elbows and slowly lift your feet. You, you may need to bring your weight forward a little bit to give yourself um, a wider base for those knees on those elbows, but really stay here for as long as you can. Really burn out those triceps. If you can't, just continue to practice and it will burn out those triceps. All right? Like I said, if you, I mean, if you need to end the video now, if you need to keep going long after I took the mat, I really just want you to burn those triceps out um, and also allow you to practice crow. Crow is going to be a great foundation for a lot of the, um, the cool poses you kind of see in, low, in yoga and it's a great way to start to incorporate them into your flow. So thank you for doing yoga arms with me. I hope your triceps and your shoulders and your biceps are burning. Mine certainly are.